Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn that how do we find out the coordinates of a point which is equidistant from two points. So here's a question on that which says that we have to find the coordinates of this point which is present on the x-axis and it is equidistant from A and B. So before proceeding, let us first plot these points A and B onto the graph. So here's a graph and on this we'll plot the points. So if you look at A, it is 2 comma minus 5. So we'll say that 2 will signify that it is at a distance of 2 points from the origin on the x-axis. So it will be here. And if we see to the minus 5, so it will be at a distance of 5 from the origin in the negative y-axis. So we'll move down 5 points. So this is minus 5. So A will be 2 comma minus 5. Similarly, we can plot B also it is minus 2 comma 3. So we'll move 2 points on the negative x axis here and then we'll move up 3 points. So this will be minus 2 comma 3. Now let's suppose that the point which is equidistant from these two points is P. And since this is on x axis, you will find out that if a point is on x axis, it would be somewhere on this line. And if it is somewhere on this line, then the coordinates of y will be 0. So let's say that the point is somewhere here. So its coordinate will become x comma 0. And now we can find out the distance PB and PA by using the distance formula. And we will know that PA and PB will be equal. So let's apply the distance formula and get the distances PA and PB and these distances will be equal and then by equating them we can find out the coordinates of P point. So let's apply the distance formula here. So PA will be equals to under root of x1 minus x2 whole square. So x1 is 2 minus x whole square plus and y2 is minus 5 minus 0 whole square. So this will be PA. Similarly, we can find out PB. PB will be equals to minus 2 minus x whole square plus and this will be 3 minus 0 whole square and now we know we are given that these two are equidistant so we can equate pa and pb and these two quantities will be equal so let's square and equate them so we can write down that 2 minus x whole square plus if you look, focus, this is minus 5 whole square, this will come out to be 25 and equals to, this will be minus 2 minus x whole square plus and let's square this, this will come out to be 9. Now just apply a minus b whole square here and a plus b whole square here. So this will be 4 plus x square and minus 4x plus 25 equals to negative square will go and this will become 2 plus x whole square. So let's solve this. This will be 4 plus x square plus 4x plus 9. Now if we solve this, 4 will get cancelled. x square is also getting cancelled bring this 4x on the right hand side and 9 on the left hand side. So this will be minus 9 plus 25 is equals to 4x plus 4x. Just put this on the left hand side and take this on the right hand side. So this will be 8x equals to 16 or we can say x equals to 2. So we can say that the coordinates of P point will be equals to P will be equals to 2 comma 0. So this 
point P will not be here, rather this will be here at this point 2 comma 0. So this is how we calculate the coordinates of a point which is equidistant from two points.